we're going to be looking at the bonding present in alkanes and also this thing called a pi bond. But first of all, we just need to cover some basic definitions. So we know that alkanes, we know that alkanes are part of the uh, homologous series with the general formula Cn H2n plus one. Should be apparent because obviously, so we have ethane here. We have got two carbons. So that's going to be C2, and because N is now assigned to 2, that's, oh, my mistake, Cn, H2N plus 2. And now that N is assigned to 2, we can find that N is 6, and here N is also 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we know this, and we should also know that alkanes are hydrocarbons. So alkanes only contain hydrogen and carbon. They only contain hydrogen and carbon. Now, if we look at if we just look at a singular carbon atom here, I'm just going to draw the outer electrons. We can see that carbon has four four valent electrons, and that means carbon can actually bond up to four times, forming four covalent bonds. And right, so this brings us on to the model I have drawn model I have drawn over here and I'm going to explain what this means but first of all when we have we have two types of bonds in this we have a carbon carbon bond and a carbon hydrogen bond and in both of these there's an overlapping of electron clouds which is what forms this thing called a sigma bond and the sigma bond is quite simply just a single single bond here, which is formed from the overlapping of electron clouds. So to think about this properly, we need to think about the electron configuration of carbon, which we can find as 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. And also the electron configuration of hydrogen, 1s1. Now in the Carbon, carbons 2s and 2p um, orbitals, they make four hybrid orbitals called this sp3 here. And in the carbon hydrogen, carbon carbon bond, um, one sp3. Orbital in each carbon overlaps in the CC bond. So you can see over here this overlapping of uh, electron orbitals. So because each each of these carbons has four sp3 orbitals, it's giving one one of its orbitals is overlapping with the other carbon orbital. And let me just draw my height. Hydrogens in here. Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. It's using its other three sp3 orbitals to overlap with with hydrogen's 1s orbital. So that's that's what's sort of happening. How these bonds are being formed. It's from the overlapping of these orbitals, the sharing of these electrons. So now we know what a sigma bond is. Now, I want to draw your attention to just methane here. Just a molecule of methane. I'm going to draw a 3D model or a dot and wedge, how people like to call it. 
I'm just going to mark up the shape of this here. And what you'll find is this shape is called a, a tetrahedral shape. And you can see this in any alkane. Say, for example, we have, again, um, ethane here. You can see that this carbon is bonded th uh, to four other atoms. So this this carbon here exhibits a tetrahedral shape. And in this shape, there is a bond angle of 109.5 degrees. So this is the this is the shapes that are present. The shape is the tetrahedral, and the bond angle present is 109.5. And I'll, I'll make it a little bit clearer what I mean by this over here. So say we have our carbon, a carbon carbon bond here. And all hydrogens. This would be exactly the same as this um, CH4, this methane here. There's still a bond angle of 109.5 degrees and it's still a tetrahedral. So I hope you guys. Um, now understand the different types of bonding in in uh, alkanes between the carbons and also now understand what is meant by the term of a sigma bond it's just the overlapping of uh, orbitals of the sp3 and s orbitals so thanks for watching